Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Today is Friday, March 5, 2021. Deutsche Well Report. German-Russian relations flare up over state-run TV channel. A dispute between Berlin and Moscow over the establishment of a Russian state-backed TV channel in Germany heated up on Friday after the Russian foreign ministry accused the German government of violating press freedoms. The dispute arose regarding the channel RT, formerly Russia Today, the German offshoot of which announced a plan in January to set up a television station in Germany by the end of the year. Fox Report. Capitol Hill Riot Arrest. Trump-era aide, physically, engaged police during chaos, FBI says. A former Trump-era State Department aide has been arrested in connection to the Capitol Hill riot. The FBI confirmed to Fox News on Friday. Federico Klein is facing charges of violent and disorderly conduct. Assaulting an officer and obstructing Congress and law enforcement. The agency said. Klein once worked as a tech analyst for Trump's 2016 campaign before becoming a special assistant in the Bureau of Western Hemisphere Affairs, according to Politico. Fox Report. New Zealand sees 8.1 magnitude earthquake, lifts tsunami warnings following series of quakes. New Zealand residents were given the all-clear to return to their homes after a series of earthquakes over several hours set off tsunami warnings, according to reports. Three earthquakes struck the Pacific region over a period of six hours on Friday, with the last quake registering as 8.1 magnitude, one of the most powerful earthquakes in the region in modern history. Officials issued advisories for coastal areas after the first quake, registering as 7. CNN Report. New York State Senate passes bill to repeal Cuomo's emergency executive powers. The New York State Senate passed a bill to repeal Gov. Andrew Cuomo's expanded emergency executive powers Friday, the vote split straight down the party lines, with all 20 Republican senators saying the bill does not go far enough to curtail Cuomo's power and voting against it. Today, under this new legislation the governor will no longer be able to issue any new directives, period, said Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins. Al Jazeera Report Pope to visit ancient city of Ur, the cradle of civilization. Nasiriya. Iraq, it is where the wheel was invented. The Code of Hammurabi, or rule of law, was first established. And where oil was first burned as a source of energy. It is the ancient Iraqi city of Ur, located in Dikar province. 300 kilometers 200 miles south of the capital Baghdad, and where Pope Francis plans to visit during his historic three-day trip to the country. More than 6,000 years ago. Ur emerged as one of the world's first main urban centers and centuries later developed into the hub of the then global economy with its factories mass producing carpets and wool clothing for export within Mesopotamia and abroad. CNN Report. This AI reads children's emotions as they learn. Before the pandemic, Ka Tim Chu, teacher and vice principal of Hong Kong's True Light College, looked at his students' faces to gauge how they were responding to classwork. Now, with most of his lessons online, technology is helping Chu to read the room. An AI-powered learning platform monitors his students' emotions as they study at home. The software, Four Little Trees, was created by Hong Kong-based startup Find Solution AI. Al Jazeera Report. UN Envoy demands nations put Myanmar forces on notice. The United Nations Special Envoy on Myanmar urged the UN Security Council on Friday to take immediate action to stop the military's deadly violence against peaceful protesters and restore democracy after last month's coup. Christine schreiner Bergener called on the council for unified action, asking, how much more can we allow the Myanmar military to get away with? After the deaths of dozens of civilian protesters this week. CNN Report how TikTok made WandaVision must see TV. The finale of WandaVision premiered Friday, bringing to an end a successful season for Disney Plus's first Marvel Studios series, and with it, a parallel drama that has been unfolding on TikTok. For weeks, fans have taken to the short form video app to theorize about the show's many mysteries, creating countless videos of themselves talking, singing, and making memes about the show. There are videos about fan theories. Clips that point out hidden details that connect to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and, of course, plenty of what TikTok creators do best. Dancing. 
BBC report. China Zoo tries to pass dog off as wolf. Social media footage appeared on Tuesday showing a visitor to the Shangwushan Zoo in Xianning, Hubei Province, visiting the zoo's wolf enclosure. He filmed an animal that looked like a Rottweiler lying on its side in a cage, and said to the animal, Woof. Are you a wolf? In a short video that has since gone viral, it has led to a lot of jokes online, but has also sparked debate about whether zoos are necessary in a post-COVID era, with many voicing concern about their maintenance. Fox Report. Ship appears to float through sky in photo taken off England's Cornish coast. A man in England taking pictures of Conwall's coastline, snapped a photo resenalty of what at first appeared to be a ship floating through the clouds. Photographer David Morris said he was amazed and very baffled by the optical illusion but admitted he had seen something similar before. According to the UK's ITV, the ship looked like it was floating because of the similar coloring of the distant sky and sea. According to ITV. Fox Report. North Carolina man faces 108 charges related to secret peeping, indecent liberties with a minor. Authorities. A North Carolina man has been charged with more than 100 counts related to secret peeping and indecent liberties with a minor. Authorities said. Michael Justin Childers. 32 is being held under a $1.25 million secured bond after he was arrested Thursday following a months-long investigation. Childers faces 53 counts of felony secret peeping, 55 counts of felony possession of secret peeping material and 9 counts of felony indecent liberties with a minor, investigators announced. BBC Report. Italian Dictionary Tricani urged to change sexist definition of woman. The campaign argues that derogatory terms such as patana whore should be removed from the list of synonyms. Such words reinforce misogynist stereotypes that objectify women and present them as inferior. It adds. Trecani, a leading online Italian dictionary, has not yet responded, but previously defended its approach. Among the letters signatories are LGBTQ plus activist and politician Ima Battaglia, politician Laura Boldrini, and Alessandra Parazzelli, Deputy Director General of the Bank of Italy. Deutsche Well Report. Coronavirus. German businesses offer help with vaccine drive, report. Several large companies and associations are proposing to use their own means to vaccinate employees, as well as families, and even in some cases non-employees, in view of the snail-paced vaccination program in Germany thus far. We are therefore, in principle, prepared to make it possible for people to be vaccinated. Even if they don't work for us, the German government has been heavily criticized for the sluggish pace of its vaccine rollout compared to other countries such as Britain and Israel. CNN Report. How a Chinese website for pirated TV shows became a cultural touchstone for millennials. When Bill Liang realized that popular video download and streaming service Renren Yingxi might be gone for good his heart sank, the website also known as YETS.com, was how the 24-year-old film school student was able to watch hundreds of episodes of pirated American TV shows when he was growing up in northern China. But the site, one of China's largest, longest-running and last-remaining destinations for pirated, subtitled foreign content, was shuttered on February 3 as part of a sweeping police clampdown on piracy. Deutsche Well Report. Lithuania to Belarus. Rather watch hell freeze over, than deliver Tikhanovskaya. EU member Lithuania on Friday publicly rebuffed a request from Belarus to extradite opposition leader Sviatlana Tikhanovskaya, who fled to the country after a harsh government crackdown followed disputed elections last summer. The Belarus General Prosecutor's Office said it had requested that Lithuania extradite Tikhanovskaya to face prosecution for crimes against the governing order, public safety and the state. Al Jazeera reporter and Zarif to offer constructive plan for nuclear talks Iran will soon present a constructive plan of action Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif said on Friday after European sources said Tehran gave positive signs about opening informal talks about its nuclear program as Iran's FM Foreign Minister and Chief Nuclear Negotiator I will shortly present our constructive concrete plan of action through proper diplomatic channels Zarif said on Twitter. BBC report. Senegal protests after opposition leader Usman Sonko arrested. 
Usman Sonko appeared in court on Friday accused of disrupting public order. He also faces a rape allegation. He denies the allegations and his supporters say the accusations are politically motivated. At least one person has died in the rare nationwide unrest. Senegal is one of West Africa's most stable countries. On Friday police fired tear gas at Mr. Sonko's supporters in the capital Dakar where some shops and schools closed during the protests. Thank you for watching 5 p.m. recap. To be notified, you can subscribe our channel and activate the bell.